This is my Ebb Tide Campion 220. It's got a Yamaha power plant with the hydro drive leg. I'm just doing some service on it right now. Changing the lower leg oil. Comes out of the drain plug out of the bottom of the leg. But there's not very much information on these stern drives at all because they were stopped being made in 94 I believe. Yamaha yeah, only made them for three years but not much information on them so I thought I'd just make a little video. This is basically a little extra step for when you're changing the oil. This cover fits on over top like that but then it's got this plastic piece that goes over top the trim. So you gotta take off that plastic piece. And then there is this aluminum plate that goes on over top. And it is actually a seal. There's a big O-ring that goes around it. And it seals on the top of the actual leg so you can see the clutch packs and the gears. So this one's a little bit different than like the Merc Cruiser. The Merc Cruiser is just straight gears. And this one has a clutch pack in it so as you can see it's got quite the resistance but as I turn it it's got clutch packs and I just went to a shop that works on older boats and they denied there being clutch packs in this leg. And I was reading on the internet, uh, I can't remember what forum it was, but one gentleman said that you cannot use synthetic oil because it will start to make the clutch pack slip. So you have to use conventional oil. And he said there's also a screen that nobody cleans. So I thought I'd dig into it a little bit. And uh, that would just be the access plate for the actual shaft. So I figured this had to have been the spot for a filter. So sure enough, when you take it off, there's a filter screen. So thought this would be helpful for anybody, but uh, I'll just take this out and I'll show you another little close-up of it. So there's the cover plate with the two 10 millimeter screws. And there is the filter screen. There is some residue on it of, I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a spring and there's an o-ring seal and there's actually some stuff that's in the bore so I'll have to clean that out as well. But uh, I'll just go clean this and I'll bring it back. So there is the filter screen and the spring. And it just slides inside. And the spring acts as a reinforcement. So you're supposed to do that every time you change the lower leg oil. And now in the bore there is some more. So I'll just put the leg down a little bit more. Hopefully I don't drop too much fluid. That's where the filter goes. So I'll just clean out everything that I can find in there. And there does look like there's a little bit of brass shavings. I'm not sure what is brass on this internals, but something's wearing a tiny bit. They're not big chunks though. So now with the actual housing clean, I can reinstall And just reinstall this filter. Hopefully you guys seen all that. The camera's kind of angled up a bit. Just clean up the plate. And 
it just reinstalls with two bolts. And these are being threaded into aluminum. So don't go and kill it and over tighten it. And it's an o ring seal, so it's not. doesn't need very much. There's a video again of the actual individual clutch packs. It's almost like a spike load dampener. But see there. Actually clutches. I was gonna put synthetic in it too, but it's a good thing I dug a little deeper. Clean up some of the mating surface. Nothing on these boats is cheap anymore because they're not being made and haven't been made since like the 90s. Same thing with this. I'll just clean it up. Lubricate the o-ring before I put it back on. And if anybody knows what that uh, green gear oil is, I'd be interested to hear. I was going to put uh, synthetic AMS oil 7590 gear oil in it but I don't think I'm too fond of it anymore I'll just find a conventional oil well I didn't have any conventional marine oil but I want to use my boat this weekend so I'll just get some normal truck gear oil it's nice having this open you don't have to fill it up with the little kit. You can just see where the actual fill line is. And there's a sight glass on the left side. So I'll just fill it up till it goes into the screw hole for the drain. Fill level. I'm gonna be draining this oil right away anyways. It's taking about three, three and a half quarts. Quite a bit of oil in comparison to my mercury outboard, which only took like a quart and a half. And it's bubbling the air out from underneath, so we'll just let it settle slowly. I've taken a long time to pump all the way up. Thicker gear oil. So I'll show you what the I'm talking about the drain. little black hole on the side is fill. So I didn't even bother taking it out. But uh, yeah, oil levels up. There's a sight glass to make sure you have oil in it. Here's the cover that goes on here, and it has an ordering seal that goes around it. So I'm just going to use some AMS oil grease. It's a uh, synthetic water-resistant grease. Lubricate that seal. Hopefully, keep water from coming in. So I'll just give that ordering a light coating. To hopefully keep water out. 
there's the light coating of grease and it just slides back on and then there was a bunch of 10 millimeter screws hex bolts that came out so I'll just go back and install them all you wanna start at the middle work your way out just like you would anything else put that first one on loose so you can align your other holes now we can put that top cover back on we'll give it a little dab of grease go around the ordering that o-ring lubricated so we don't rip it. And supposedly AMS oil says that it keeps the seal soft. So we'll see. Last thing I want is for this lower unit to grenade because just for one gear, the shop I went and talked to said that it cost cost them 1200 bucks for one of those gears up here. So with the light coat of grease, kind of heavy I guess, no big deal. You can just walk it back on. And then there's the four screws in the top. And down there, there is a little bracket that the plastic cover screws into. And it faces inwards. Plastic cover. Now with the plastic cover back on, you can take your last bolt with the sleeve and reinstall it. Check the lower bolt, see if it leaks. If there's no leaks, then you're good to go. Hopefully this helped.